Whatever your kitchen skills, you probably have a skillet. And Chris Kimball is here because he and his team at Cook's Illustrated Magazine have a new book out called The Best Skillet Recipes. Chris Kimball, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm very well. Yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm going to measure now. Oh, okay. What are we measuring? This is like the a self-help. The size. size of the skillet? Yeah, when you measure a skillet, by the way, a skillet has flared sides and a saute pan has straight sides. That makes no sense to me whatsoever, but that's the convention. Okay. So this, th these are skillets, and you measure across the top, not the bottom. So that's roughly 12 inches. So that's how you know it's a 12-inch skillet, which is what we use for most of the recipes in the book. Okay. Other question people ask is, do you want a traditional skillet like this, or do you want a nonstick skillet? Most of the time, we use a traditional skillet because when you saute food, you get those brown bits at the bottom, and those make a great sauce. And you can't get it in the nonstick. No, it's good for seafood, stir fries, things where you're worried about sticking. So, okay. 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 So the first thing is we're going to take a traditional just baked ziti, and make and it in a skillet. We make it in a skillet because you know it's a casserole and it's twice baked. So we have a little bit of sauce. We started here for ten minutes: tomatoes, garlic, oil. Okay. We're going to put in three cups of water, and we're actually going to cook the pasta right in the skillet. Oh, you're so, kidding. Yeah, we're not cooking it ahead of time. Okay. So we're going to put that in. Put That's 12 down. ounces of ziti. And we're going to put the top on. And we're going to cook this for 15 minutes, a little bit longer, just till it's almost cooked. We're then going to take the top off, put a little mozzarella and parmesan on top, and throw it in about a 475 oven for about 10 or 12 minutes to finish it so that all of it gets done in one pot. You know, usually with lasagna or baked ziti, you have four bowls and five pots, and it takes two hours. 40 minutes, start to finish. Okay, so before you put it in the oven, the ziti itself is only kind of half cooked. It's, it's almost good. almost all the way cooked, but it's a li very al dente. Okay. And then you put a little shredded mozzarella, three quarter cup, and a little parmesan. That goes into the oven. The top soft, so it melts it on the top, oh. and we have it right there. So that's that's very simple. Okay. Pizza, we do the same thing. We start with a cold uh, skillet, put a couple tablespoons of oil, half pound of pizza in, top it with a little sauce, a little cheese. That then goes on the top of the stove for three minutes on high. You get a great crust. It's like a Chicago deep dish with that oil. Yes. It's really crusty. Then that goes into the oven to finish, and uh, you're done. Another 10 minutes or so, seven to 10 minutes with the cheese on top. So it's simple. You don't need a pizza stone. It's easy. So okay, and you have one minute to teach, teach us how to make a blueberry pie in a skillet. We cooked two cups of blueberries down, mm -hmm. um, and then we added four more cups and some other filling, you know, sugar, a little vanilla, lemon zest, etc. And now, instead of doing two crusts, we're doing one crust. We're going to put that over the pan right on top like that. Mm -hmm. And we take a knife, just cut it like this. Mm -hmm. And that goes into an oven for 30, 35 minutes. But before the oven, oven, how long is it on the stovetop? It's just about 10 minutes just to cook down the original blueberries. So okay. you don't have to worry about whether it's floury or cutting, cutting pieces that are perfect. It's got a lot of flavor. And then in the oven, you were saying? 30, 35 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Very simple. Nice. And, and this is what it comes out looking like. Yeah, and someone's already there. Yeah. Guess who? Here. Yeah, guess who? Here, let's hey. just get a piece. But for crust lovers, I thought you were diving. Oh, I, I, I am. I'm diving, I'm diving, diving for ziti. Right right. Chris Campbell, thanks so much. Go to our website for these recipes and more, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.